Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's my first day at Royal High. Oh, this is so exciting. Wait, I'm gonna be late for chemistry. I better get going. Hey, Laura, what's up? You're such a noob. I know, I know, it's my first year, but who cares? I mean, like, I'm gonna do amazing at Royal High. It's not like I'm gonna get kicked out or anything. But, but where is chemistry class again? Cause I'm not sure. Um, uh, can I just click here and like teleport or something? Uh, uh, ah, I don't know how to get there. This is super bad guys. I don't know how to get to my first class and I'm probably gonna fail. Oh wait, potions chemistry, I made it. Uh oh, apparently they're testing how things work and I didn't get here in time. Laura, you're gonna fail, come on. Ah, oh, finally, I took a seat. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's get started, everybody. You need to know what potion to use if anyone tries to cast an evil spell on you. Um, well, this green one sort of looks like the right one, right? Oh, Laura, you're totally gonna fail. Damn, be quiet. You're supposed to be my best friend. You're supposed to to build me up and make me feel like I can do anything. Ugh, maybe I should pick a new best friend. Don't be ridiculous. I'll help you in chemistry if you really need it. Oh, Laura, you got an F. Well, maybe you should have helped me faster. I'll help you in the next class, okay? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need it or I'm gonna get kicked out of Royal High. Grab your baking book out of your locker for the next class. Where's my locker? Oh, Laura! Claim a locker, holy guacamole! This is like ridiculous, you don't even know. Are you seriously picking one, two, three, four as your locker combination? Uh, maybe? Oh boy. All uh, right, let's see, chemistry book, English book, our baking book! Finally, I did something right today. <sighs> Wait, I didn't pick up my book, okay? I still have to pick up my book. Just pick it up, Laura, oh my gosh, put it in your backpack. Got it! Finally, I'm to a class on time. Wow, baking class looks so cool. Maybe I'll be like a famous chef or something when I grow up. Yeah, maybe, but it seems more like you'll be, well, famously lazy. I'm not lazy. You don't get out of bed before noon sometimes. That's just because I'm a teenager. Okay, what do we have to do first? Let's see, can I bake something over here? Ooh, can I help you bake? You're gonna ruin it, go away. Ugh, no one seems to wanna be my friend at Royal High. I'm definitely gonna need to try harder. Okay, here's a station that no one's using, I think. Excuse me, I'm using that one. All right, okay, ugh. <sighs> Hello, I'm Sam, who are you? Oh, hi, I'm Laura. Ugh, no one's gonna ask you to the dance. Wait, there's a dance, seriously, when? Tonight, duh, but I'm the most popular girl, so the prince is definitely gonna ask me, especially when you taste these delicious cupcakes I'm making. I can make delicious cupcakes, I think. Let me just look at my baking book. You'll never get the prince. He only wants me because I'm beautiful and an amazing baker and so smart and, oh man, she's probably right. All right, here, I could whip up something really, 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 really delicious. Drag the, cu drag the cupcakes down with a sliding motion to cut the butter. Um, thank you for the cupcake, but I need to make my own because I have to have a date for the, for the dance and someone said there's an amazing prince that lives here. I want him to ask me. Hold and shake, okay? I'm shaking it, what do I do now? Oh, Laura, are you gonna fail another class? I hope not. I'm shaking it, but nothing's happening. Finally. Uh, I guess I'm not very good at baking either. Everybody's giving me a cupcake, though. At least they're being nice. 
That's just because you get a better grade if you share your cupcake. We don't actually like you. Oh. oh. Man, I really am not gonna have anyone ask me to the dance. Ugh, oh, stop giving me so many cupcakes! I have to concentrate on my own. Laura, you could have one of my cupcakes. No, I have to make them, so the prince will ask me to the dance. Ugh, oh, I got a D. Oh, man. Okay, I, I'm not done yet! Don't grade me! I'm not done making my cupcakes! They're gonna be beautiful! I'm making strawberry ones with pink frosting. Laura, come on! You were gonna be late for our next class! But I didn't even finish them yet! Oh, I've gotta go put them in the oven. La 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 la. Oh, look at my cupcake. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I put hearts on the top for that special someone. Special someone? Are you gonna ask them to the dance? Yeah, if I'm if I'm brave enough, but I'm not sure I am. Um, okay, well, I'm sure she'll really think you're cool and all, Dan, except for when you eat bean burritos because you fart way too much then. I don't know what you're talking about. Ew, Dan! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, thanks for the cupcake, but mine are still baking. Okay, um, all right, now I'm gonna decorate them like this with sprinkles and maybe some fruit on the top and I don't know, like this. <gasps> Finally, I baked them. Now maybe the prince will ask me to the dance. Laura, you're gonna be late for English. I don't care, I, I'm eating a cupcake. So life is much better now that I have a cupcake because <sighs> when school like totally stresses you out and you eat a cupcake, you just feel much better. Oh, Dan, what are you wearing? Oh, uh, I got some cupcake on me. And also, uh, I wanted to ask you something, Laura. No time for that. I have to get to English class. But Laura, it's important. Sorry. I'm going to be so beautiful at the dance tonight. Hey, hey, Molly. Um, I didn't have anyone ask me yet, but I'm sure the prince will. What? There's not a prince on the planet who would ask you. Oh, uh, okay, well, I just thought he'd ask me because I baked him some delicious cupcakes. That doesn't mean anything. We all bake delicious cupcakes in the bake class today. He wants nothing to do with someone like you, a noob. Ah, uh, okay, um, well, I, I guess, I guess I just won't go to the dance because if you can't go to the dance with the pr prince, who would you go with? I heard that if you make a wish in this wishing well, then your wish will come true. And I really need a date for the dance tonight. I don't want to be the only freshman that doesn't get to go with a date. Ah, you're such a noob. Yeah, I know I'm a noob. I dress like a noob. I act like a noob. I'm a noob. It's okay, I'm gonna make a wish. My wish is going to come true. I wish I may. I wish I might. I wish that a prince would appear to take me to the dance tonight. Well, hello there. What? Are you the prince that I wished for? Of course I am. Who else would I be? <laughs> wow, you're super handsome. And I'm charming. Are you Prince Charming? No, no, no. <laughs> that name's already taken. I'm Luke. Oh, hi, Luke. I'm Laura. I'm the one that wished for you to take me to the dance tonight. Well, then, we need to do something about your outfit. I'm magic, you know, so I can do that. Really? Are you like a fairy godmother? Also taken. Like I said, I'm the Prince Luke, but I'm magic. Watch this. Whoa! Look at my dress! It's... it's amazing! Of course it is! It was brought to you by... Prince Luke. <laughs> oh wow, you are really charming. So, uh, should we head out to the dance? Yeah, that sounds dreamy. Um, are we gonna get dinner? What do I look like? I already gave you a special outfit. Now you want dinner too? Oh, um, no, I guess that is asking a lot. Okay, let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe we could have, like, a romantic moment in the park? That would be so dreamy. What? No, I told you already. I gave you your dress. What more do you want out of me? 
Oh, yeah, I guess a romantic moment in the park is a bit much to ask for. Well, let's go to the dance then. So, um, do you like Molly or Daisy? Hey, get away from my prince. He doesn't like Molly or Daisy. He likes me. Well, <laughs> uh, you're kind of pretty. Hey, are you flirting with that girl? I, I thought we were just going to grab something to drink and then we were going to go to the dance. Oh, well, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Of course. Okay, uh, I'll meet you inside. I don't know about this Prince Luke. He seems kind of, well, rude. Wow, the dance looks amazing. My first school dance. This is so cool. Hey, Laura, this dance is amazing, right? Uh, Dan, is that what you call it? dancing? Yeah, I'm doing the worm in the air. Isn't it so cool? Um, you look like a hungry penguin. Well, hello there. I see you've met my date. Um, Luke, Dan's known me since I was in kindergarten. He's my best friend. What? No, he's not. He can't be your best friend. Not if you want me to be your date. Wait, what? Laura, who is this guy? He's a total clown. What? Take that back. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys are not going to fight. Wait, two boys like me enough to fight over me? Oh, that's so cool. I mean, it's not nice to fight. Don't fight. Well, I guess you're not even worth fighting for. I mean, there's a lot of cool girls here if you really want Dan to be your friend. He's just my friend. That's it. Wait, am I just your friend? I mean, I thought maybe we could go to the dance together. What? You didn't ask me. I kept trying to, but you were too busy trying to go get a Prince Charming. Oh, I didn't know that you wanted to go with me. Hello? Can anyone pay attention to me? I'm over here. Um, look, Luke, you seem nice, sort of, but... But what? I mean, are you going to be my date and my girlfriend, or what? Laura, I think you're going to have so much more fun at the dance if you're just with me, being yourself. Ah, uh, I feel so torn. Who should I choose? Who should I choose? Who should I choose? Um, Laura, I think that they've chosen for us. What? We got prom king and queen of tonight's royal ball? Uh, yeah, Laura. I think the school just thinks we should be together. And I sort of agree with them. Oh my gosh. Dan, this is amazing. Yeah, and if I'm going to tell you the truth, I like you more than a friend. You do? Yeah. Do you want to be my girlfriend? I do want to be your girlfriend. <laughs> now come on, let's dance. Uh, Laura, what's that dance called? It's called the kitty dance. It's called the kitty dance. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this girl is my girlfriend. Hey, you wanted me to be your girlfriend. That's what you get. Oh yeah. Sneaking up on you, sneaking up on your heart. Um, Laura, you're so weird sometimes. Psh, I went fishing and I caught myself a Dan. <laughs> Everybody do the zombie. Okay, um, yeah, I'm changing my mind about you being my girlfriend. Too late now. I might just eat your brains. Oh, Laura, seriously. I'm having the time of my life. Me too, Dan. Me too. Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! Uh, yes, sir? How can I help you? Uh, I, I need some help for my wife. Uh, she's gonna... Excuse me, sir, but I have to go to room number three. Uh, they called first. But my wife, she's gonna have a... I know, sir, but room number three called first. Okay, we'll come to room number two as soon as you're done. Oh, Karen, what can I do for you? Are you okay? No, I feel awful. Ugh. Oh, Karen, I'm so sorry, but it doesn't look like your baby's coming yet. Are you in a lot of pain? No. Well, yes, yeah, sort of. I need a soda. Uh, Karen, you can't drink a soda. You're going to have a baby like in a few hours. I don't care. I want a soda. Ma'am, you, you can't drink soda. It's not good for your baby. I want a Pepsi. No! 
Oh my gosh, Karen, just try to relax, okay? I have to go to room number two. This is the worst hospital ever. They won't even let me have a Pepsi. I'm gonna give it two stars. No, no, one star. Oh wow, it looks like you two are about to have your baby. Oh my gosh, honey, I can't believe it. I know, Dan, I'd be excited if, oh, it didn't hurt so much. Oh honey, everything's gonna be fun. Says the guy who's not actually having the baby. Okay, you two, just calm down. Laura, I'll get you a shot to help you with the pain, okay? Oh, I don't really like shots. Well, you don't really like um, being in pain either, do you, honey? Put that video camera away! I look terrible! Oh, sorry, okay, well, um, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Just be moral support for your wife. Now, about that shot. Okay, yeah, give it to me. I guess I'm, I'm just in too much pain to care. This will just hurt for a second and then you'll have immediate relief. Ow! Oh, whoa, it's starting to help already. See, honey? <laughs> and now our sweet little baby girl's coming. Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, uh, doctor, if I don't get my Pepsi, the world is gonna come to an end. Okay, Dan and Laura, I'll be right back. I've gotta check on this other patient. Karen? Whoa, Karen, it looks like your baby's coming. Can I finally have my Pepsi now? Oh, I'm sorry. After you have your baby, you can have your Pepsi. What? I have to have a baby before I can have a Pepsi? What kind of hospital is this? Just give me it. Okay, you're obviously in some pain. I'm going to give you a shot. A shot of Pepsi? Sounds great. I think you might be, well, addicted to Pepsi. What? No, I'm not. I just like to drink stuff like that because it's delicious and... Ow! Why'd you stick me with that? There, the pain should be better now. Uh, doctor! My wife! She's having her baby! Ugh, we're really short-staffed. I'll be right back. Don't have your baby while I'm gone! Um, okay, I'll try not to. Again, I'm gonna give this hospital one star! Congratulations! It's a little girl. Oh my gosh, Dan, look at... She's so adorable, and she has bright red hair. Oh, hi, sweetie. You're so cute. Ugh, I can't believe it. I had my baby without the doctor. This is the worst hospital ever. Whoa, Karen, you had your baby. Yeah, of course I did. It's not like I can stop when the baby comes, and you weren't here. Sorry, we have a bunch of doctors out today, and we're really short-handed. But your baby looks super healthy. Ugh, and super ugly. What? Did you just call your baby ugly? Yeah, I didn't want a baby that had blonde hair. I wanted a baby that had red hair. Well, but Karen, your baby is still adorable. No, she's not. Oh, I wanted her to have red hair. That would have made her extra special. Okay, well, let me take your baby into the nursery, okay, Karen? Because I think you might need to rest for a while. You seem really grumpy. What? No, I'm not. Okay, yeah, maybe I am because you never gave me my Pepsi. How was I supposed to give birth without drinking something? I'm thirsty. Well, I'll get you a Pepsi right after I take the baby to the nursery. <coughs> oh, it's okay, honey. Your mommy, I'm sure, will come around. You're a beautiful baby, and I'm sure she didn't mean to call you ugly. She's just grumpy because she needs her Pepsi and some sleep. <coughs> Oh, such a sweet little baby. I can't believe it. We're the, we're the luckiest parents in the whole world. Aw, you guys are great mom and dads. Okay, so I'm going to take your baby now. What? No, you can't have our baby. She's ours. Honey, I think she's just going to take her into the nursery so that, you know, we can get some rest. Oh, honey, are you tired? Ah, uh, yeah, I just gave birth. Of course I'm tired. Would you like something to eat, too? Uh, thank you, doctor, but right now all I want is to just sleep. All right, well, I'll take your baby and you guys can rest. I'll put her in the nursery, and when you wake up, I'll bring her back, okay? Okay, I'm kind of tired, too. Sweet little girl. Oh, you have the best parents in the whole world. I <laughs> Where is the Pepsi machine? Oh, I'm so thirsty. Oh, look, it's the nursery. Oh, there's my baby and she has blonde hair. 
<gasps> Look at this baby. She is adorable and she has red hair, just like the baby I always wanted. That's right, little baby. I'll switch you out for my baby. <laughs> and then I'll finally have my little red-headed, adorable little sweet baby. I'm sure the other parents won't even notice. Excuse me, doctor, I would like my baby now. Doctor, hello. Okay, I'll go get your baby. Um, She's in the nursery right now. Yeah, duh, I know. All right, well, um, if she's if she's needing something to eat, I'll also bring you a bottle for her. Okay, fine. I guess you can go up to two stars, but you still gotta give me my Pepsi. So just kidding, one star. I could have swore when I came in earlier that your baby had blonde hair, but maybe I'm mistaken. I've seen so many patients today. I'm really overworked. Are you kidding? No, my baby's always had red hair. But I thought I remember you complaining she had... No, I did it, okay? I was just confused, and you're confused, because... Because... Ooh. Wait, what? A Coca-Cola? That's not a Pepsi! Uh, I'm sorry, we only have Coke products. Give me my Pepsi! Um, uh, ma'am? I think you're excused from the hospital. Y you're released. You can go home now. Fine! I can finally go get my Pepsi! with your mommy now. Uh, uh, what, what, what's going on? What, wait, wait, does my baby need me? Um, yes, Laura, I'm sorry to wake you up, but your baby just won't stop crying. I think she needs her mommy. Okay, let, let me see her. I'm sure I can make everything better. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay, baby. It's okay. <coughs> Nothing I'm doing is working, doctor. Is she okay? Um, well, I think she's fine. She just needs her mommy. But... She seems different than before. Like, like, not my baby. What? Not your baby? Oh, Laura, I think you might need more rest. You're probably right, doctor. <coughs> but I don't seem to be able to soothe her. Oh, nonsense, Laura. A mommy can always soothe her baby. Yeah, but this one doesn't seem to want to be soothed. <coughs> Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. Molly, are you excited for your first day of daycare? Um, I'm not really sure, Mom. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm nervous. Oh, Molly, it's going to be fine, honey. You're going to have a great day. Um, I don't know, because what if I don't make any friends? You'll make lots of friends, I promise. You're such a good kid. I'm sure you're going to find a wonderful best friend here at daycare. Okay, Mom. Well, bye. You'll be right back to pick me up at 3 o'clock, right? Of course I will. And if you have any problems, just ask your teacher to call me, okay? Okay, Mom. Bye. Good luck, Molly. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Oh, look. There's someone else, and they're playing with a toy. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi, I'm Daisy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's a cute little hippo toy you have. We can play with it together if you want. Okay. Hey, do you want to be my best friend? I want to be your best friend. Yeah. Do you want to spend the night at my house? Um, yeah, I'd love to spend the night at your house. Okay, well, um, I could ask my mom if you want. Okay, guys, it's time for nap time. What? We just got here. No nap. No nap. Come on, Daisy. Say it with me. My friend said no nap. No nap. Oh, you guys are so cute, but you still have to take a nap. No, we're going to nap later because um, Daisy's coming to my house to sleep over. It's going to be super fun, right, Daisy? It's going to be so cool. Wow, that was a great movie. Thanks for having me over, Molly, for this sleepover. Um, Daisy, your mom just called, and she can't come pick you up in the morning, so you can't spend the night. Wait, what? But, 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 Mom, I thought she was going to spend the night. I'm sorry, her mom said no. But you girls got to play with each other for a couple of hours. But, Mom, it's not the same. I wanted Daisy to spend the night. 
She's my best friend. I'm sorry, Molly. My mom doesn't like driving me places. Well, maybe next weekend I can come pick you up, Daisy. I would drive her home tomorrow, Molly, but I have to be up early for work. I know. It's okay, Mom. I, I guess I'll just have to be disappointed because she can't spend the night. Where's my kid? Oh, there you are. Wait a minute. Are you the woman that had your baby next to me at the hospital? Oh, wow, Karen, it's been a really long time. Look how big our kids have gotten. Hey, Karen. Oh, my gosh. She looks just like me. Really? Does red hair run in your family? It does in mine. That's why I couldn't believe that my daughter had blonde hair. Uh, no, I, I mean, Molly, she looks just like me. What? It, whoa. She does look just like you. Wait. Why does my daughter look just like you, Karen? Okay, so this seems kind of rude, but I really wanted a redheaded baby, so I switched my baby for your baby when you weren't looking in the hospital. Say what? You you switch our baby? So this this baby is really yours? Wait, what? Wait, wait a minute. I, I'm confused. So you're not my mom? Of course I am, Molly. I've been your mom since, well, well, since we left the hospital. You're really my mom? And you're sort of evil because you switch babies at the hospital? Ah! I can't believe it! You're actually my mom! And if the truth be told, you seem like a nicer one. Karen is kind of rude to you. Hey, I raised you to the best of my abilities. Oh, my gosh. But Molly, you're my daughter. And Daisy, you're my daughter. Well, whatever. Like, I mean, I guess this is my kid, but ugh, is she potty trained? I'm working on it. Sometimes I still have to wear pull-ups, though. Do you poo-poo your pants? Um, yeah, sometimes. Ew, gross. Well, um, I guess you could have both of them if you wanted. Seriously, I don't have to go with you because I don't really think you're my mom. Even though we kind of look alike. Um, I'll take both of them, of course. We'll have to fill out adoption papers and stuff, but Molly's my daughter, and so isn't Daisy. See ya! Wait, wait! We're supposed to sign paperwork! Bye! Oh my gosh, Daisy, do you know what this means? Then we're gonna be BFFs forever and ever because we live in the same house. No, it means you're my sister, so I get to annoy you every single day for the rest of your life. What? No, 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 no. We were best friends just five minutes ago. Well, get with the program, sister. Now you're my arch nemesis. Oh my gosh, I just need a minute to sit down. Oh, two girls. Molly, can't we just get along? No, you're an annoying sister and you're annoying. Oh, brother. No, oh, sister. Ha, 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 ha.